so we opened the cotyledon and we found a baby plant inside the cotyledon and when you observe the baby plant you will find that it has a shoot and a root the shoot later grows later on grows out of the ground so the shoot is the part of the plant that grows above the ground it develops into a stem so the shoot later on grows out of the ground into the stem and the roots they spread under the ground so we know that the cotyledon has a baby plant and the baby plant has a shoot and a root and the shoot later later on grows into the grows out of the ground into a stem and the roots grow under the ground ne so so far we have seen the structure of a seed so the seed has a seed coat the outer coat and then when we split the seed we find the leaves the seed leaves which are called the cotyledon and this cotyledon it depends on the fruit there are some which have two cotyledons which are called dicotyledonous or dicot seeds and there are some seeds which have a single seed which is single cotyledon which is monocotyledonous or monocot seeds again if we open the cotyledon we find a baby plant inside that has a root and a shoot and the shoot later on grows into a stem so they grow above the ground into a stem and the roots grow and spread under the ground the cotyledon has all the food supply that is necessary for a baby plant next we are going to talk about the germination of a seed so how a seed germinates how it comes up if you take notice most plants grow from seeds but all the seeds do not grow into plants so normally if you see most of the plants grow from seeds but not all seeds grow into plants only ripe and healthy seeds which get all the favorable conditions grow into new plants so whatever is necessary for a seed to grow into a new plant that is air water sunlight so if all these things are available for a seed and the seed is healthy then it grows into a new plant and germination so we're talking about germination so germination is the process by which a seed produces a baby plant or seedling in the presence of water air and warmth that is your sunlight so talking about the germination of a seed we see that most plants grow from seeds but not all the seeds grow into plants only ripe and healthy seeds which get all the favorable conditions grow into new plants and this process that is germination is the process by which a seed produces a baby plant or seedling in the presence of water air and warmth warmth is nothing but sunlight if any one condition is missing in case of the absence of either water air or sunlight the seeds will not germinate that is it will not produce a baby plant or a seedling so we see that they need these three are most important for a seed to develop into a baby plant or a seedling so a seed needs good soil so the first thing is a seed to grow into a baby plant needs good soil which is rich in nutrients along with 
air, warmth and water. So when you take a seed, we see that a seed needs good soil and the soil needs to be rich in nutrients. Along with your nutrients, we have air, warmth and water. That's why if you see farmers, when they grow their crops, they give the plants sufficient air, water, sunlight along with nutrients. That is the fertilizers, the manure that is needed for a plant to grow. So this is about the germination of a seed. So not all, most of the plants grow from seeds, but not all uh, seeds develop into plants. Only seeds which are ripe and healthy and has all the favorable conditions like air, water and warmth, then it develops into a baby plant or a seedling. So germination is the process by which a seed produces a baby plant or seedling in the presence of water, air and warmth. And if any one condition is missing, then the seed will not germinate. So a, a seed needs good soil which is rich in nutrients along with air, water and warmth.